Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Our crew this evening, Josie Hopkins, Callie Hopkins, and Denise Santaki, and I'm Tom Nappy. Happy to be on the call alongside Josie Hopkins to bring you a meeting of the 5-2-1 Hopkinton Hillers as they are the away team to host Medway, who is 3-5-1 overall. The Mustangs have racked up a couple of good wins as of late after starting off the season a bit rough, and they look to make a statement here tonight on their home ice, but standing in their way are the Hillers, who have played some great hockey this season in their last five games the hillers have four wins and a tie and they have not lost since back on december 29th against algonquin they suffered a two to one loss but they have won three of their last five games and right now we are going to send it down to the ice for the player introductions and the national anthem just about ready for face-off. Let's recap the starting lineups just in case you missed it. For the Medway Mustangs in the net, it's freshman Evan Monahan on defense. Number two, Jeremy Curley, a forward number seven, Thomas Dwyer. 
A defenseman number eight, Thomas Bugby. A defenseman number 11, Carter Fisher. And rounding out the starting rotation for Medway is Cole Theodore, number 23 for the Hillers. Number six, Andrew Gilbert. Number nine, Cam Jarrett. Number 11, Sean Walsh. Number 15, Steven Simos. Number 19, Tommy Hamlet. And Dylan Brand, the freshman, gets the start in net tonight. And we are underway here at Pirelli Veterans Arena. Josie Hopkins and Tom Nappy on the call. Also part of our crew tonight, Kelly Hopkins and Denise Antaki. The Hillers looking for their sixth win of the season. Have control early on, working right to left across your screen. Here's Walsh in the right circle, trying to feed Simos out in front, and it's diverted. Getting in the way there was Cole Theodore. Trapped up along the corner is Carter Fisher. Walsh trying to take control along the far side. Back to the blue line to Jarrett out in front. He was looking for Simos. Sean Walsh has been on a tear this season. He has at least four hat tricks as Gilbert with a wrister there and then out in front and it's turned away by the freshman goaltender, Evan Monahan. The Hillers with the early pressure and we get a whistle. And the net came dislodged, so we will have a face off in the Medway zone. In the opening minute here of this game. And Josie, this is your first time uh, checking out a Hiller's hockey game. They've had a great season so far. How are you liking the experience in these early goings? It's great. The Hillers are awesome. Absolutely. Along the near side, Jack McCarthy. Medway switched up a couple players on the ice. And now here's Alex and Fanger, the freshman, coming up the ice quickly along the far side. And now out in back of the net, Jack McCarthy gets to it. And he was looking for Stover at the blue line, and it got away from him. And now the goaltender will try to set it up. And now coming up quickly is Nate Steinhoff, a senior. The Hillers have won three of the last four meetings against the Medway Mustangs. They won both meetings last season, and in 2017, they split the two-game series. Up along the near side is Rogers, and that'll draw the icing. Hillers are gonna switch things up on the ice. A minute and a half of this game completed. Hopkinton putting on some good pressure early on. Well, the face off in the Hiller zone. And Sean Walsh on the face off for Hopkinton. Carter Fisher puts it back up and that's turned away by Dylan Brand. Along the near side it's Simos. And now quickly coming up is Walsh. But Thomas Bugby got there first. Bugby trapped up along the corner and some hard hitting going on as Hamlet takes a tumble. And here comes Medway. Up along the near side is Dwyer. And now in the neutral zone, Walsh. Walsh coming up quickly, but a couple Mustangs get in his way. I'm sure Medway has done their research when it comes to Sean Walsh and his dominance on a breakaway. Carter Fisher goes up the near side boards. Back to the Hiller zone we go. Here's Ron Sheamus. And now Medway with an opportunity here. Turned away, nice job by Hamlet. And now the Mustangs trying to quickly work their way up. A backhander by Steinhoff. And that one's going to be trapped up by Brand. So we'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. Well, you saw Hopkinton put on the early pressure, but now Medway starting to put a little pressure on. On the face-off for the Hillers, that is Dan Kirk. Up against McCarthy for Medway. Up behind the net, taking a hard hit is Jack Carr. That one slashed up towards Carr by Perinello. Now out in front and it's taken away. In the right place, right time was Kirk. Down the near side goes Morse. Back to Medway territory we go. Dan Lynn up along the far side for the Mustangs, trying to turn it away. Weinstock gets the stick on it. And now here's Jarrett. Jarrett surrounded by Mustang, gets it back to Weinstock, and now Jarrett coming up quickly along the far side, puts it around the boards, and Stover has possession for the Mustangs. Hillers in their away green jerseys, Medway in their at-home gray jerseys. Up along the near side now is Aiden Walsh, takes a hard hit from Stover. Mustangs trying to clear their zone. Getting in the way there was Aiden Walsh. Now with possession is Stover. Stover looking for the open man. Tries to go to the far side, but that was in the middle of an exchange. Mustangs 
retain possession. Along the near side, Stover. And he'll put that one left of the net, and that'll draw the whistle for the offsides. Well, it looks like a pretty even matchup so far, huh, Josie? Yes, definitely. Hopkinton and Medway, two of the elite programs in the TVL. Now towards the blue line is Gilbert, and he was looking for a shot there. It was turned away by McCarthy up along the near side, Saparoshitz. Now coming in quickly is Steinhoff. He's pinned up against the boards with Gilbert, and he'll put that one towards the near side corner. Fisher hunts it down for Medway. Quickly working his way up the far side is Infanger, looking for a shot here, and it's turned away by Brand. And now coming up the near side, Walsh, and he's able to find Quinlan. Well, good shot there by Medway. Nice save by Brand. Now the Hiller is trying to retaliate, but the Mustangs quick to flood their defensive zone. Rogers along the far side doing battle with Bugby. They'll go up along the boards, and there's the icing. Medway will make a change. 10.32 left to go in the first period. We are scoreless so far between the Hillers and the Mustangs. We'll have a face-off in the Medway zone off the icing call. Medway led by head coach Derek Harrington. The Hillers, of course, led by head coach Chris McPherson. Sean Walsh on the face-off for Hopkinton. Up along the top of the circle is Jarrett. He was looking for a shot there. It was wide to the right. To the near side we come. Out in front was Walsh looking for Simos. And now, big pressure here as it was Walsh trying to backhand it in, and it's turned away. Evan Monahan with some good saves there. And both goalies have been put to work so far tonight as the net came dislodged once again, drawing the whistle. We'll have a face-off. In the left circle of the Medway zone. Sean Walsh on the face off for the Hillers. Up against Nick Zanella. Up along the near side corner. That's turned away by Thomas Dwyer. Now quickly coming up the far side, Jeremy Curley. Up along the corner it goes. Tracked down by Cam Jarrett who takes a hit into the boards. Curley trying to get a stick on it. It's turned away by Sheamus. And in the neutral zone to take possession, Zanella. Now quickly coming up ice, Cole Theodore. And he'll put that around the boards. Tracked down by Jarrett. Jarrett up the near side, he goes. And here's Colin Stover for Medway. Now along the far side, that's Cam Jarrett trying to put it towards Simos. Ron Sheamus gets the stick on it. I'd say so far both teams look pretty evenly matched, Josie. What do you think about the uh, goaltending so far? Both goalies have been really put to work so far tonight. Yeah, it was very close over there. Well, the face off in the Hiller's zone. Dan Kirk up against Declan McCarthy. 9.21 left to go in the first period. We remain scoreless. Both teams providing a good amount of pressure. Along the near side, Tyler Morris, he's pinned up by Dan Lynn. Back to the Medway zone it goes. Bugby tracks it down. Getting a stick in there is Kirk. Hopkinton trying to take control here in Medway territory. Kirk and Bugby doing battle along the corner. Nearly stolen away by Morris. Back and forth we go in the Medway zone. Kirk up along the corner, and now getting in the action is Weinstock. Here comes Kirk around the net, looking for somebody in front, trying to turn it around. A couple of Mustangs meet him in back of the net. Curley and Fisher on the scene. At the blue line was Weinstock, but skating right by him is McCarthy. Here comes McCarthy, but he's surrounded by Hillers. Up along the near side corner is Carr. Tracked down by Saparoshitz. That's back to the blue line, turned away by Stover. Along the near side, it's two on one in favor of Medway. Luke Lydon trying to get possession. Here comes Alex and Fanger out in front. There's a wrister, turned away by a defenseman. It actually might have been Jack Carr who got the stick on that. But it was Jack Carr tied up with Dan Kirk in the slot. 
up along the far side boards goes Stover. Back to Medway territory we go. That'll draw an icing. We'll have another face off in Hiller's territory. 7.59 left to go in the first period. Scoreless between the Hillers and Medway. I'll tell you what, for a 3-5-1 team, the Mustangs, they are looking sharp tonight. Coming up along the far side, it's Will Quinlan. Medway has, of course, had a lot of strong competition to start off the season. They typically load their schedule with a lot of good D1, D2 teams. Along the near side, Gilbert. Over on the far side, Jarrett. Coach Harrington wants his team battle tested. Here comes Stover up along the near side, pokes it off the boards. And back and forth we go towards the neutral zone. And Stover going to put that in the Hiller's territory, but there to track it down is Jarrett. Jarrett tied up behind the net by McCarthy, is able to get it out of there to the near side of Gilbert. And here comes Hopkinton on a quick break. It's Rogers over to Walsh. Walsh trying to feed Rogers, and that shot just wide to the right. Up along the far side, Quinlan. Tracked down along the corner by Steinhoff for Medway. Out of the near side, here's Luke Glyden. Glyden, top of the circle, will flip it forward, and it's turned away by the goaltender, Sean Walsh, in the area. Now here comes Simos to poke it around. Walsh tied up behind the net with Stover. He's able to get it out of there. Top of the circle on the near side, Luke Glyden. And now here's Walsh. Pass over to Sheamus, and the shot out in front. Walsh puts it off the right post. On top of the circle is Sheamus with a secondary shot. Nearly a goal there by Sean Walsh, who's a beauty of a shot, but just a little bit too far to the right. Simos able to knock it around. Up behind the net it goes, Hamlet meeting up with Fisher. And now on the near side for Medway, it's Thomas Dwyer. Poking it off the boards of Saperoshitz. And now here's Simos out in front. Walsh trying to dig it out of there. And correction, that was actually Hamlet who's out in front of the net. And there is a strong shot there from Aiden Walsh from the right point. And now coming up the near side is Curley who puts it off the boards. Well, Medway able to clear their zone, but the Hillers certainly provide some pressure, and they're going to try to provide some more here. Sean Walsh is out there ready to attack. Steve Simos over to Walsh. Here comes Walsh up the near side, tracked down by a couple of Mustangs. He'll go around the net. No Hillers in sight as he meets up with Thomas Pugby. And now there's a shot turned away by the goaltender. Backhander, and that is going to be a goal, I be believe. Did that go in? No, it didn't. It was wrapped up by the goaltender, but great pressure. And then the backhander was by Tyler Morse. That was nearly a goal there, but Evan Monahan with a tremendous save. On the faceoff for the Hillers, it's Dan Kirk. Along the near side, Carter Fisher. Here comes Fisher with possession. Pass up to Carr. Now Sheamus. Puts it around the boards, tracked down by Fisher. Up along the far side, there's Jarrett. Jarrett with the pass down, looking for Kirk. Now Declan McCarthy gets involved. Now along the far side for Medway, it's Dan Lynn. Trying to poke it out is Weinstock. Mustangs being very cautious to not get too many people out of their defensive zone and maybe some pressure here. Here comes McCarthy with a shot and it's wrapped up by Brand. That was good uh, defensive work there by the sophomore Cam Jarrett getting in front of that shot. 447 left to go in the first period. Hillers and Medway remain scoreless. Back and forth, momentum shifts in this game so far. Kyle Rogers on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Steinhoff. Now Stover looking for a shot there. Now skating towards the slot was Steinhoff. Hillers take control. Quickly coming up with the ice is Aiden Walsh. Walsh kind of took the stick around the puck, but McCarthy got in the way. Up behind the net is Zanella. Mustangs quickly approaching Hillers' territory. Here comes Steinhoff up the far side. Luke Leiden is able to knock that one around the boards. 
Now out in front, Saperoshitz able to divert Steinhoff. Here comes Glyden. And now shot here, and that is just wide to the left by Infranger. Up along the far side is Rogers. Here comes Rogers, one on one, around the defender, and he's pushed out of the way. He did get the shot off, a little wide to the left. Good defensive work by Stover. Up along the far side, Sheamus. Stover takes control from Medway, pokes that one off the boards. It'll race back to Hiller's territory. Brand turns it away. Going up the near side, Gilbert. Over to Simos, and now Walsh. And a ton of Mustangs flood the defensive zone with Walsh and Simos in the area. Poked up the ice by Theodore, and that'll draw the offsides. 3.17 left to go in the first period. It's been nonstop action so far in this one, Josie. So what do you think so far? Who do you think has the uh, advantage? Do you think Hillers are playing better or Medway? I think the Hillers are playing hard and Medway is too. And I think the Hillers have had a lot of good shots. Well, there's another good shot by Simos. It's wrapped up by Evan Monahan. I certainly agree with you there. There's been some great shots. Sean Walsh putting one off the post earlier. And that one just wide to the right by Simos. Looked around the boards by Sheamus. Now up along the near side, Hamlet trying to dig it out. Hamlet and Walsh in the area. Walsh trying to find Gilbert at the blue line. It's stolen away, here comes Thomas Dwyer. Dwyer on a break into the circle, and that's just wide to the right. Did go off the pad of Brand, I believe. Up along the far side, Hamlet. Puts it into Medway territory. It's tracked down along the near side by Fisher. Hiller is in the middle of a change here as Fisher puts that one into Hiller's territory to draw the icing. We'll have a face off in the Medway zone with 2.40 left to go in the first period. Four o'clock start to this one on this Wednesday afternoon. And the Hillers, they haven't had a whole lot of afternoon games this season. A lot of night games. Coming up the near side is Jack Carr. Into the right circle, there's a shot, and it's turned away by Brand. Dan Kirk, now along the corner. Pokes it up the boards. Another great save by the freshman, Dylan Brand. Much like last year's, that one's knocked out of play off the netting. The Hillers have two reliable goaltenders, Cole Thomas and Dylan Brand. They also have Gray Bailey, who's a very reliable goaltender. We'll have a face off in the Medway zone. It's Dan Kirk up against De Declan McCarthy. Hard hit into the boards behind the net as Jack Carr pokes that one up. Trying to get in the way is Dan Kirk. Kirk able to turn it away to allow a couple Hillers to get back into Medway territory. As Stover pokes it over to the far side. Stover up against Walsh along the corner. Now back to the blue line, Jarrett looking for a shot. And that one is just a little bit wide. Kirk was just right in front of the net. Looking for the opportunity is, this one is going to be a save by Brand off the stick of Zanella. Brand was able to glove that one. And it was nicely done by the freshman. Well, a matchup of two freshman goaltenders today and both playing very well. Face off in Hiller's territory. Carter Fisher up along the near side boards. Gilbert tracks it down. That's over to Hamlet. Bunch of Mustangs flood the far side. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Now here comes Simos to Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot there, turned away by Fisher. Hamlet up along the corner. Simos in back of the net. Mustangs trying to get it out of their defensive zone, especially with Walsh and Simos in the area. Up the far side goes Theodore. And we'll get a whistle here. For the offsides, I believe. It'll be a 
Face off at center ice. Sean Walsh up against Cole Theodore. 108 and counting left to go in the first period. We are scoreless between the Hillers and Medway. It has been a great battle so far at Pirelli Veterans Arena here in Franklin. The home ice of Medway. Here comes Simos into the left circle, trying to get it out in front, and it is saved by Monaghan. Another great save just before Walsh got there. Walsh might have tipped it a little bit, but Monaghan quick to wrap it up. Another face-off in Medway territory. And it seems like whenever the Hillers meet up with Medway, it's always a tough battle. Hamblett along the near side. Here comes Walsh around the net. Hamblett now. To Gilbert. Gilbert looking for the shot at the top of the circle. And now McCarthy has possession for the Mustangs, but he lost it briefly. And now it's taken away by Walsh. Walsh has great stick work. Here he comes, two on one, and puts that one off the goalie. Now it's out in front. And it is turned away as Jeremy Curley able to get in there. And we have a whistle. And I believe it's because the net came dislodged once again, and it did. Evan Monaghan, I think, lost his sight for a moment there as in front of the net just flooded with Hillers. Great pressure by Hopkinton on that series. And we have a face-off between Dan Kirk and Nate Steinoff. 20 seconds and counting left to go in the first period. Hillers with some late period pressure along the far side, Kirk. Up behind the net, Zanella. And now McCarthy takes a slash by Hamlet. And he's tracking it down is Kirk, or Seamus rather. Now approaching is Rodgers, and that'll do it for the first period. Josie, some great back and forth hockey, some great shots by both teams. I think we have ourselves a good game so far. All right, well that is going to do it. After one period of play, we are scoreless. The Hopkinton Hillers, the Medway Mustangs, the battle continues on. Who will come out victorious? We'll find out soon. It's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. We are ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. We are scoreless as we enter the second frame. Tom Nappy on the call. Our crew today, Josie Hopkins, Callie Hopkins, and Denise Antaki. As we are ready for face-off at center ice. Sean Walsh for the Hillers, Cole Theodore for Medway. And it was a good competitive first period. A lot of pressure provided by both teams. Certainly a very entertaining period as well. The Mustangs working right to left across your screen with possession is Colin Stover. Puts it up the far side, turned away by Gilbert. Gilbert trying to get to it. And it looks like uh, there's two players for each team around the puck. They just kind of left it there for a moment as that one's poked off the boards into Medway territory and off sides. Well, the face off in the Hiller zone. Well, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments both teams make here for this second period. Sean Walsh up against Theodore. Up around the net, Gilbert. Now on the far side, and there's a Hiller tied up. That was, uh, I believe, Simos. Walsh on the shot, and that's just wide to the left. Over in the corner, it's dug out. Yeah, that was a powerful shot by Walsh. That one out in front, and Simos puts it in. Goal, Hillers. 
It was Cam Jarrett on the initial shot and then Steve Simos follows up with the one-timer and puts it in to make it one to nothing. So Jarrett on the assist, Simos on the goal. Gilbert against Steinoff on the faceoff. We're just 45 seconds into the second period and we have our first goal of the evening. Quickly coming up ice is McCarthy. McCarthy looking for a shot and that one just wide to the right. Dylan Brand so far has been outstanding in that for the Hillers as we get a whistle. Well, what did you think about that goal, Josie? It was really great. Net came out once again. It's happened a number of times in the Hiller's end. The official trying to get it mounted back on the peg. And we're ready to go. Tied up along the near side, gliding. Puts it over towards Walsh. Now tracking it down along the near side, Steinoff. Here comes Rogers, and he was looking to get it over to Walsh. Aiden Walsh, up along the far side, and we'll have a whistle as Will Quinlan is tripped up. Miller's changing things up, and we're gonna have a penalty against Medway. I believe uh, they're gonna get Bugby for tripping up Quinlan. If they can open a penalty box. So two minutes on the penalty. 13.36 left to go in the second period. Hillers with the man advantage and the one nothing lead. Over to the blue line, here's Jarrett. Jarrett with a shot, turn away. Walsh was looking for a goal on the bounce back. Hamlet puts it around the boards. Walsh along the far side, over to Gilbert. Gilbert was trying to feed Walsh once again, but stepping in the way was Theodore. Up behind the net goes Jarrett. Jarrett is going to be intercepted by Theodore. Around the net to intercept is Gilbert. Over to Jarrett. Jarrett to Walsh. Bounces off the stick of Walsh. And now Simos trying to take control. Out in front, Walsh with a shot, it's turned away. Up along the near side, Simos. Walsh. With possession, over to the blue line of Jarrett. Now top of the circle, there's a shot by Gilbert and it's turned away. Evan Monahan busier than ever to start off this second period. A minute left on the man advantage for the Hillers. Here comes Jarrett. That is off the stick of Hamblet. Up around the boards goes Fisher. Back to the Hiller zone. Brand gets the stick on it. And now it's Jarrett. Walsh racing up the near side. And he just could not get by Steinhoff. It's two on one. Walsh quickly able to gather control along the far side boards. Puts it towards Simos along the near side. Here comes Simos. Simos around the defender with a shot and it's turned away by Monahan. And then Stover is able to get it out of the danger zone. 14 seconds left on the power play. Well, the Hillers not able to take advantage of that power play, but they have the one nothing lead. 11.35 and counting left in the second period. Aiden Walsh takes a hit into the boards as quickly gathering possession is Zanella. And Walsh quick to get back up to Zanella to try to take it away. Now Medway maybe with some pressure here as Bugby puts it to the left of the net. And now into the circle, looking for a shot turned away by Brand off the stick of Steinhoff. Up along the near side is Stover. Stover puts it towards Fisher, back to Stover. Bounces it off the boards. And that one just by Brand, that'll draw the icing. Face off in the midway zone at exactly 11 minutes left to go in the second period. 
Well, the only goal of the game so far scored 45 seconds into the second period by Steve Simos, assisted by Cam Jarrett. It was a beauty. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. Here comes Carter Fisher for Medway. Fisher over to Carr. Tracking it down along the corner, gliding. Turns it up towards Morse. Morse to the near side, looking for Weinstock. Weinstock takes a hard hit, but he's able to get the puck out of there. Now Kirk with possession. Kirk bounces it around the end boards. Morse trying to track it down, tied up with Fisher. And now into the circle, there's a shot by Weinstock, and Monahan is going to wrap it up. It looks like we might have a penalty here, too. So the Hillers are going to go right back on the power play. They're going to get Carter Fisher for the hook. We'll have a faceoff in the Medway zone. Hillers with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Well, maybe uh, Medway getting a little frustrated, Josie. Yep. Jared along the near side. Top of the left circle, Gilbert, there's a shot, and out in front of the net, it's turned away, and now there's Jarrett with a wrister, and that's just wide to the left. Gilbert picks it up, trying to bounce it off the boards, back in front of the net, Jarrett along the near side. Stover gets to it, puts it back towards the Hillers zone. Minute 35 left on the power play. Hillers' second power play of the game. Here comes Hamlet, and now he'll leave it for Walsh. Walsh, one on one, into the right circle, around the defender, and he couldn't get the shot off, was looking for the backhander. Walsh to Jarrett, top of the circle. He'll bounce it off the end boards. Walsh picks it up. Walsh back to Jarrett. Jarrett over to Simos out in front, and Hamlet was trying to poke it in. Walsh up against Zanella along the far side. Hiller is with the man advantage for the next minute. And now here's Hamlet, he takes a hit. And now coming up the ice is Theodore. Nice job by Medway clearing their defensive zone. 45 seconds left on the power play. Here comes Simos up the far side. He's able to turn it through a Mustangs player's leg. Is that his Poked up, back to the neutral zone it goes. Well, Medway has done well at defending the power play, keeping this a one goal game. Coming up the far side is Jarrett. Jarrett pokes it around the end boards. And now there's a shot by Sheamus, turned away. Steinhoff gets it back into the Hiller zone. Sheamus tracks it down. Well, Medway has managed to burn off yet another power play. We are back at even strength, and now we have a whistle. I believe it was an offsides call, and indeed it was. 8.22 left to go in the second period, a 1-0 lead for the Hillers. We'll have a face-off at center ice. Kyle Rogers up against Steinoff. Well, it'll be nice to see these teams at even strain for a little while and see if uh, the Mustangs can get anything going. They've done a great job at defending the power play. But can the Hillers take control of this game, which is certainly what they're trying to do right now. That one intercepted by Steinhoff, trying to get it out of there. Quinlan gets involved. Back and forth we go along the near side, and now quickly coming up is Rogers. Rogers top of the circle, there's a shot wide to the right. Saperoshitz up along the near side, puts it around the end boards. And now tied up behind the net. Alex and Fandrew try to take control, but it's stolen away by Quinlan. Over towards McCarthy, puts it off the sideboards. And now picking it up there was Quinlan. Puts it to the near side corner, and that'll draw the icing. 7.28 left to go in the second period. Miller has switched it up for a bit to the second line. Mustangs 
trying to establish control, but having a hard time doing so. Here comes Weinstock. Weinstock to the right circle. There's a wrister, and it's tied up by Monahan. Oh. In. It slipped through Monahan's glove, and that's a goal by Weinstock. Two nothing, Ehlers. Josie, is it me or did it look like Monahan had the puck but just dropped it? It did. 7.15 left to go in the second. And Jake Weinstock with a beauty of a goal there. Evan Monaghan had it pinned up, I believe, against his side, but then just could not hold on to it. It slipped through and landed in the net for the goal. Thomas Dwyer along the far side. Here's Stover. Looks it off the boards. Tied up along the boards is Hamlet. And now quickly coming up the ice, Lynn. Glyden picks it up, takes it around. Back to the far side, here comes Glyden. Let's poke back into the Hillers defensive zone. Hamlet able to knock it up the near side. Simos was trying to get in there. Hamlet with possession into the red circle. There's a wrister. And that one is just a little bit wide. Some great shots by the Hillers in the last few minutes, really pouring on the pressure on the Mustangs. Up behind the net, Gilbert. Gilbert up the far side, he goes to Simos. And now here comes Sean Walsh, look out. Walsh into the left circle. He quickly is met up with by Carter Fisher. Now Simos trying to poke it out of the corner. We're gonna have a whistle, a little fighting going on. And that's a no-no in high school hockey. And there was definitely some punches thrown. I think we might see some penalties on both sides. Well, from what I saw, it looked like Medway's, I believe it was Carter Fisher threw the first punch, and then Walsh responded, but anyone who throws a punch, they are heading to the box. It looks like actually it's gonna be the Hillers who are really penalized here. And they're gonna have two in the box. Medway will have one. So it will be Sean Walsh, Tommy Hamblett heading to the box for the Hillers and Tommy Dwyer for Medway. So that will give the Mustangs the man advantage. And one of the questions is, will there be any disqualifications? And I think that's what the officials may be discussing now if anyone will be disqualified from this game due to the punches thrown. 6.18 left to go in the second period. It's a 2-0 lead for the Hillers, but a potential advantage coming up for the Mustangs. And the official heading over to Coach McPherson to discuss the situation. And I think we might also, if we don't have any disqualifications, I think we're gonna have a major penalty here. So we'll have a four minute penalty. At least that's from what I'm hearing down below. So we'll see what they put on the scoreboard, but certainly not the situation you want. If you're the Hillers, you have the two nothing advantage. And you don't wanna give Medway any sort of momentum. So the Hillers are gonna be down a man. And I think we'll have a five on four, perhaps. But I think right now, a little bit of confusion on both sides. So while they straighten things out, we'll take a time out. You're tuned into Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. 
Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. All right, they have straightened things out. We are ready to go. And there's no penalties on the board, and we are at even strength. So I believe that rather than a man advantage for any team, we have the players that were penalized disqualified from the game. So there are five hillers out there as well as five Mustangs, so it's even strength hockey. There's a shot just wide to the right by Quinlan. So it looks like Walsh and Hamblet have been disqualified for the Hillers, which is certainly unfortunate. We'll see if they come back out at all, but it's not promising. Jack McCarthy along the near side. Skates around the net, into the right circle, puts it towards the blue line, and it's off the stick of Zanella. Now coming up is Quinlan. Quinlan takes a hit into the boards from McCarthy. And in the box for Medway, it's Thomas Dwyer, who's one of their key players. So both teams are gonna be missing some good talent. Along the far side, Aiden Walsh pinned up against the boards. Tracked down by Quinlan. Quinlan puts that around the net. Tracking it down is Zanella. Zanella pokes it forward. And tracking it down along the far side is Gilbert. Gilbert with the pass back towards Weinstock. There's a shot turned away by Brand off the stick of Zanella. Meeting up with Linden into the boards was Jarrett. And now it's jammed up along the far side corner. Saparoshitz trying to get in there. Saparoshitz trying to poke it out. Gilbert got the stick on it. And then it was turned away by a Mustang. And now it's jammed up along the near side. Back and forth we go in the Hiller zone. And now Hopkinson trying to take control here. Here comes Simo, center to the left circle, the shot! And that is turned away by Monahan. It was three on two in favor of the Hillers in that situation. It was a good shot by Simos. So now Simos and Weinstock getting tied up briefly. Dan Lynn pokes it out. Back to mid-ice we go. Glyden pokes it forward. 419 and County left to go in the second period. Two second period goals by the Hillers so far. And they lead two to nothing. Dan Lynn puts it around the boards. Tracked down along the corner by Glyden. Medway changing lines. Here comes Weinstock. And he's going to be intercepted by Carr. Carr puts it around the boards. Glyden gets to it. Glyden able to poke it off the sideboard there. And putting it back into the Hillers territory is Carter Fisher. Jammed up along the near side. Here comes Carr trying to leave it out. Carr trapped up behind the net. Medway providing some pretty good pressure over the last minute or so since we had that penalty situation. Over to the blue line and that is off his own man, Cole Theodore, looking for a shot there, but it was Jack Carr in the slot. Around the boards it goes, back into Medway territory as the Hillers make a change. 3.15 and counting, left to go in the second period. Backhanded pass by Theodore. Checked down behind the net by Jarrett. And now racing up along the near side is Quinlan. Quinlan trying to get in front of Fisher. Fisher puts it around towards Bugby. Now back to Saperoshitz. There's a wrister, and that's turned away by a defenseman. That's Fisher getting a hand on it. Up along the near side, here comes Steinhoff. Steinhoff racing up the ice, looking for a shot. It's turned away by Brand. And Zaporoshitz puts it off the glass before we have a whistle. And it looks like good news for the Hillers. 
Nobody was disqualified, so Walsh and Hamlet are back out there. And sometimes in those fighting situations, you do see players get disqualified, but that is certainly great news for the Hillers to see them back out there. So it was an even penalty is what the situation was, so it didn't really give anybody the power play. And that worked out well for the Hillers. Jack Carr trying to poke it around the boards. Hamlet trying to push, here comes Hamlet. Hamlet racing up the ice with a shot, and Monahan turns it away. And we'll have a whistle. And we're gonna have a penalty here. And this will be on Medway. Jeremy Curley heads to the box. So the Hillers will have the man advantage for the next two minutes, which is the majority of the remainder of the second period. 2.18 left to go in the period. Hillers with a 2-0 advantage. Along the near side, that's Stover. Off the boards, Gilbert. Puts it back along the far side boards. There's Gilbert. Pokes it forward towards Simos. Simos looking for Jarrett. Jarrett jammed up along the near side corner. Walsh trying to get involved in the action. And Stover able to knock it away. Back to Simos, or excuse me, that was Gilbert. There's Jarrett with a shot, and that's a goal! Cam Jarrett with a beauty of a shot. Three nothing, Hillers. 146 left to go in the second. And Jarrett nailed that puck for the goal. And Medway is going to make a change at goaltender. Sam Day will take over, the senior. 146 left to go in the period. Change that goaltender for Medway, who is trailing the Hillers three to nothing. Here comes the Mustangs with an opportunity. Looking for a shot, there's a wrister, oh. and that is just a little bit too high by McCarthy. Back to the near side, racing to the puck is Bugby. And now Hamlet able to track it down in the corner. Off the stick of Walsh. Get back up along the near side boards. Jarrett with possession. Top of the circle. That shot just a little bit wide by Gilbert. Racing up the far side, it's McCarthy. He was looking for Infanger. Jarrett gets to it. Hard hit into the boards as Hamlet is met up with by Infanger. There's a shot wide to the right by Steinhoff. Up behind the net it goes, and Fanger gets to it. He's tied up with Jarrett. And it's Walsh coming up the near side. He was looking across the ice towards Simos. 41 seconds and counting left to go in the second period. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers. Andrew Gilbert trying to poke it up the far side. There's a shot turned away by Brand. That was a pretty good wrister too by Curley. Off the boards, Curley up behind the net, into the corner, looking for someone out in front. Opportunity here, and that is a slap shot by Carr and wrapped up by Brand. We get a whistle, and we'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. The whistle was for the line change. Clock stopped at 14.8 seconds. What a great period of hockey by the Hillers. All three goals scored in the second. Steve Simos, Jake Weinstock, Cam Jarrett, the goal scores. Six seconds left to go in the period. Here comes Medway, and that is diverted, and the Hillers will head into the final 15 minutes with a 3-0 lead over the Mustangs. The Hillers trying to run away with this TVL matchup 
It's 3-0 after two periods of hockey. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. Hopkinton Hillers on the road, taking on the Medway Mustangs on their home ice. And as we enter the third period, it's the Hillers three, Medway nothing. Tom Nappy on the call, Denise on Taki on camera. Also part of our crew was Josie Hopkins and Callie Hopkins. Up and coming. H cam crew and we are ready for face off to start off this third period the final 15 minutes of regulation the Hillers with a 3-0 lead they had a tremendous second period and dominated all facets of the game as the Mustangs start off Along the far side, Medway trying to establish the momentum. Here's Carr with the shot turned away by Brand. Then a secondary attempt, and that one is wrapped up. Dylan Brand has made some extraordinary saves tonight. And that was some great pressure there by Medway. And the Mustangs know if they want a chance in this game, they have to come out firing in all cylinders right off the bat here in this third period. Back to the blue line out towards the slot off the stick of Bugby. Tied up along the near side, Jared and Carr. Now it's back to Medway territory and turned away by Sam Day. Sam Day came in in the second period to take over and then actually they got a, uh, another goalie out there now. They got David Leland in the net. Their third goalie on their roster. So Leland taking over, third goalie of the day for Medway. Game was started by the freshman Evan Monahan, who did a tremendous job in the first period, made some great saves, and then in the second period, it wasn't certainly wasn't entirely his fault. Ehlers just got some great shots off and put on some very good pressure up along the far side boards. Quinlan now tracking it down. Carter Fisher up along the near side car, and now poking it out. That was Rogers, and Rogers lost his stick, and he's able to. Quickly pick it up. Saparoshitz puts it along the boards. Now over towards Aiden Walsh. And it's stolen away by McCarthy. McCarthy pokes it off the boards. Luke Clyde gets a stick on it for the Hillers. Rogers leaves it for Quinlan. Quinlan puts it around the bend. Chased down by Stover. Stover pokes it off the boards. And then knocking it around back of the net is Gilbert. Tracked down along the far side by Fisher. Coming up the near side, that's Stover. And now tracking it down, Gilbert. And Gilbert able to get in front of McCarthy who fell and then was swinging his stick around and I think he's heading into the box. So we'll be on Gilbert and Medway will have their first power play of the day. Gilbert getting called for the trip there. Now the Mustangs will have an opportunity with the man advantage. Knocked down the near side board by Simos. Stover behind the net for Medway. Stover up towards Theodore. Curley gets a stick on it. Back in the defensive zone, Fisher. 12 and a half left to go in this third period. Fisher up along the near side. Up behind the net, Steinhoff. Minute 25 left to go on the power play. There's a shot by Walsh turned away. And the backhanded pass by Sheamus. Tracked down by Fisher. Quickly approaching with Simos. 
Coming up the near side now, that's Theodore. Puts it over towards Infanger. Infanger tied up with Jarrett. Jarrett trying to dig it out of there. It's two on one over along that corner. And finally the puck escapes, but Medway has possession. There's a shot turned away by Brand, a soft shot there by Zanella. And now digging it out of the corner is Simos, followed up by Hamblet. Quickly approaching, Curley with a wrister, and that one just a little bit high. Walsh puts it off the boards. Up the near side it goes, and here comes Walsh. Walsh with a shot turned away by Leland. And that was a good, powerful shot there by Walsh. Curley wrists that one, and a glove save by Brand. 22 seconds left on the power play. Medway with the man advantage, 11.22 left in the third period. Mustangs better get to scoring quickly if they want to get back in this game. Over towards the blue line, that's Stover. Turned away by Glyden along the far side. Oh, second line for the Hillers, they played very well tonight as well. Coming up the near side, Dwyer. Puts that over to the far side corner. Saporosha is able to poke it around back towards the near side. Up in the slot is Kirk. Nice turn away as McCarthy was moving in. Wrist it up by Saporosha. The power play has been killed by the Hillers. And we have a whistle. We'll have the face off back in Hillers territory on the icing call. 10.49 left to go in the third period. Hillers with a 3-0 lead. It was Steve Simo scoring the first goal. 45 seconds into the second period. Cam Jarrett on the assist. Jake Weinstock with a nice powerful shot for the second goal with 7.15 left. And then he had Cam Jarrett with 146 left. Strike for the Hillers. Along the far side, Kyle Rogers up against Steinhoff. And now digging it out for Medway is Steinhoff. Here comes the Mustangs, quickly approaching McCarthy in that shot just wide to the right. Saperoschitz gets a stick on it. Now here's Bugby. Puts it over to the near side. Quinlan able to turn it around. And it's tracked down by Fisher. Along the near side corner, there's a shot turned away. That was Eden Walsh on that shot. Back to the blue line. Saperoschitz. Trying to sneak that one through. Aiden Walsh jammed up along the near side. And now for Medway, here comes Steinoff. I think Coach McPherson going to get just about everybody in there for the remaining nine minutes and 50 seconds of this game as Brand will wrap this one up. And Dylan Brand has done a tremendous job in net today for the Hillers. He's made some very good saves. We'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. Nine minutes, 48 seconds left to go. Hopkinton looking to improve to 6-2-1. And, and climb up to 13 points. If they hold on and take the victory here tonight, they'll be seven points away from the playoffs. Along the far side corner. Knocked up the boards by Zanella. And of course, with plenty of points left to earn to try to get that high seed as we get another whistle here. And that is an offsides. Face off in the neutral zone. Sean Walsh up against Cole Theodore. Walsh leaves it behind for Sheamus, pokes it off the near side boards. As Simos is met up with. Simos, backhanded pass to Hamlet across the ice. Hamlet pokes it around the boards. Now jammed up along the corner is Carr. Here comes the Mustangs. Cole Theodore quickly approaching, top of the circle. Turned away by Sheamus. Along the near side corner, here comes Cam Jarrett. Jarrett leaves it out in front, Sean Walsh. Quickly approaching into the far side circle. Turned away by Curley. 
And now Cole Theodore pro closing in. And he's tripped up by Gilbert. That's going to draw a whistle. I think Gilbert's heading to the box for that one. Well, he will take a seat for the next two minutes due to the hooking. And Medway will have the man advantage. Well, he certainly wasn't thrilled about that call, but no doubt about that one. Dan Kirk up against Jack McCarthy. That one is deflected by Brand. I don't know if that went off a Hiller stick or a Mustang stick. It's Carter Fisher. Puts it over towards the far side. Quickly closing in is Dan Kirk. Stover up behind the net for Medway. Pass up the near side to Infanger. Infanger puts it over to Dwyer. And that one turned away by Saparoshitz. Now Fisher. Saparoshitz turns it away once again. Knocked in front and poked in a Medway goal. That's Jack McCarthy. The Mustangs take advantage of the power play and this game not necessarily over. Jack McCarthy able to poke it through to make it three to one. 7.59 left to go in regulation. Well, if you're the Hillers, you can't be thinking that this game is over. This Mustangs team, they have put some good pressure on at points tonight. And they certainly have some good shooters on the roster as well. We'll have a faceoff at center ice. Sean Walsh up against Cole Theodore. Theodore able to knock it back. Can the Hillers hold on to a two goal lead for the next eight minutes? That's the question. Up along the near side, Jack Carr. Back to the Hillers zone. Well, Medway's really gonna try to pour on the pressure here in these next few minutes. Cam Jarrett tracks it down. Up along the far side of Hamlet. Back to the Medway zone, turned away by Fisher. And now here comes Sheamus. Sheamus with the backhander, Mustangs with an opportunity, passing the slot and a great hit by Simos, just laying out Cole Theodore. That was a beauty. Theodore was wide open in the slot, but Simos out of nowhere. Jarrett pokes it up towards the neutral zone. And now here comes Sheamus up and around the boards he goes. Leland sets it up. I'd say if you're the Hillers, try to play keep away for the next few minutes. And that's what they're likely going to try to do here. But first, and fans are going to try to put some pressure on. And fans are out in front. No one was there. And there's a shot turned away by Brand off the stick of Fisher. In the danger zone it remains. And now Simos gets to it. But pulling in front of him was Steinoff. And now the Mustangs looking for another shot here to the side of the net. That's McCarthy over to the blue line. Back to McCarthy off the stick of Fisher. Walsh pokes it off the boards. And a good turn away there. Tracked down by Bugby. Bugby up along the far side. Trying to sneak on in. Mustangs providing some very good pressure. Still six minutes left. Hiller's going to have a line change. And now jammed up out in front. And it's turned away by Quinlan. And here comes Walsh. Walsh on a break. No one in front of him. And he goes around the goalie and in. Goal, Hillers. Well, when you got Sean Walsh racing in, no one standing in his way, it is very rare that it's going to be a good outcome for the defending team. 5.51 left to go. It's a 4-1 to lead for the Hillers. Walsh just continuing to rack up the points this season. What a beauty of a goal that was. Well, he did his job. He'll take a seat on the bench now. Up along the near side, Aiden Walsh 
Tied up with Stover, and there's another shot that's just wide to the right by Rogers. Back to the blue line, Jarrett, and that's poked out in front by Rogers. Hillers maintain possession. Five and a half left to go, a three goal lead for the Hillers. Sean Walsh comes through once again. I don't think there's been a game all season that Walsh hasn't scored at least one goal. He already has four hat tricks. Brand turns it away. Up to the near side. Walsh. Wrists are there by Stover. Poked out by Quinlan. Five minutes left. Miller is pretty close to improving to 6 2 and 1. And racking up 13 points as we'll have a change here on both sides. Upcoming schedule for the Hillers will be at home against Norwood on January 12th and then January 16th at Dover Sherborne and then back at home against Holliston. The Hillers are certainly hoping that will be three W's in the book. And we're going to have a timeout, 4.53 left to go. It's the Hillers 4, Medway 1. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Boys City Hockey on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM Team. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. Off the timeout, we're ready to rock. A four to one lead for the Hillers. Jammed up along the far side. Now it is poked out. That was off the stick of Gilbert, but that'll draw the icing. Have another face-off in the Hiller zone with 4.39 left to go. Well, an impressive performance, to say the least, by the Hillers in this one. And it'll be a big win for Hopkinton, a nice road win against a very tough Medway team. And this Mustangs team, they are pretty young this year. They only got five seniors on the roster. They lost a lot of talent from last year's team. As we'll have another face-off in the Hiller zone. Medway last year went 14-7-0 overall. They lost in the South Division II quarterfinals. 2-1 to one to the eventual sectional champions, Plymouth South. And the Hillers, they lost in the South Division three sectional semifinals to Rockland. But both teams are certainly uh, showing off their toughness this season. The Hillers, they lost a good amount of talent off of last year's roster as well. But Sean Walsh has stepped up and essentially taken over the Will Abbott role from last year. Jammed up along the far side corner. Hamlet able to poke it out towards Gilbert. Gilbert over towards Simos. Simos tied up with Fisher. There's Hamlet, he'll put it around the end boards. Hillers at this point just really playing keep away. Zaporoshitz was trying to get a stick on it, but now quickly coming up ice is Steinhoff looking for a shot here. There's a restaurant in! Nate Steinhoff keeps this game interesting with Medway's second goal of the evening. 3.39 left. And that was a beauty of a shot by Steinhoff. Well, it's not over just yet. Three thirty-nine left to go. It's now a two-goal lead for the Hillers. Dan Kirk up against Cole Theodore. That was dangerous by Leland. He Waited for that to roll to him to turn it away, but there was a couple of Hillers quickly closing in. That shot wide on the left by Sheamus. Hooked around the boards by Glyden. There's Stover. Put that one off the glass. Tied up along the far side. Now quickly approaching, it's Stover. 
Into the Hiller's end we go. And Sheamus took a hard whack up behind the net. Quickly back to his skates. Pokes that around the boards to a wide open wine stock. That was good vision there by Sheamus. Along the boards, Glyden's tripped up. And Sheamus able to knock it over. Medway was fortunately in the middle of a line change as that shot there deflected by Brand. Nearly landed in a scary place. 2.35 and counting left to go, but Medway continuing to pour on the pressure. A 4-2 lead for the Hillers, and the Mustangs have pulled their goalie. So they have the man advantage in the defensive zone. And that was Stover giving it a hard whack that went right off the stomach of Walsh. You could tell that one stung a little bit. He was kind of holding on to his stomach there, but he was keeping on going with the action. Aiden Walsh, certainly a tough sophomore to say the least. And we're going to have another timeout. 2.09 left to go. The Hillers clinging on to a two goal lead. It's 4 2 Hopkinton on HCAM. So, what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it, to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. 2.09 left to go. The Hailers leading 4-2. But Medway with some good late pressure. Up along the far side, Hamblet tracking it down in the neutral zone. Curly over to Theodore with a shot, and that's turned away by Brand. He was looking for five hole on that one. That was a shot all the way from the neutral zone. Brand turns that one away. That was off the stick of Fisher. Medway with the man advantage. They have pulled their goalie. It is six on five in the Hillers defensive zone. McCarthy along the near side, pass over to Stover. Out in front, Brand trying to turn it away. 130 left to go in regulation as Walsh steals it away, was trying to knock it down the ice. And now it's a race to the far side. Hamblet gives Carter Fisher a nice hit along the boards. And now chasing it down is Gilbert. Gilbert towards Simos. 110 and counting left to go. Medway still has it in the Hiller zone. And now here comes Simos. Simos, wide open net. There it is, the finisher. Steve Simos makes it five to two. And that'll be all she wrote for Medway. 59.8 seconds left to go. Nice job by Simos. Medway was really pouring on the pressure, giving it all that they had. And Simos able to knock it away and put the game away. They play the remaining minute. Thomas Bugby back ice. I'll tell you, this Mustangs team is young. They lost a lot of talent off their roster from last year, but. They have a lot of good up-and-coming talent, and they'll be back in no time. Bugby along the corner. That's up towards Dan Lynn. Trying to dig it out was Quinlan. Now Kirk chasing it down. Impressive win by the Hillers on the road against a gritty Medway team. 
Hopkinton will improve to 6-2-1. They'll have 13 points overall in the season. There's Kirk with a shot behind the net. And that is certainly impressive numbers for how hard of a schedule the Hillers have played. A 5-2 win. The Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Medway Mustangs. Medway falls to 3-6-1 on the season. The Hillers now 6-2-1 on the season. As Hopkinton takes down the Mustangs 5-2, the Hillers are now 4-1 versus Medway in the last five meetings with the Mustangs. For our crew, Josie Hopkins, Callie Hopkins, Denise Santaki, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers. Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon, folks.